In this video, I'm going to show you how to create job openings poster in Word. And this is the exact same design we'll achieve by the end of this tutorial. Let's preview it and see how it looks. This looks absolutely stunning. So, if you want to learn how to create job openings poster in Word, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Online Office Teacher where I help you manage your data and information through online video just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That being said, let's jump into the video. I have an open word. I go over to Insert, then I click on Table. I'm going to go ahead and insert a table of two columns, eight rows, like this. So I click on it to insert my table. And I'm going to go ahead and merge the first two cells on top. I highlight them up. Then I go over to Layout and the Table Tools. Then I click on Merge Cells. Next, I go ahead and enter the name of my company, Tiku Pages Web. I'll highlight the two cells and I merge them up. Then I go ahead and enter Job Openings. Next, I highlight the two cells and I merge them up. Then I go ahead and enter my preamble right here. In the next cell down here, I enter the position I'm looking for, web developer. I'm actually having two job openings. So the second position will come here, office assistant. Next, I'm going to go ahead and jump the next cell right here. And I enter the next text here. That is job description. I'll enter the same thing in here. So I'll just highlight it up, copy, and I paste it in here. Awesome. Down here below, I enter the description for the web developer. Okay, I've entered my job description. Next, I hit enter, another enter. Now, enter required skills. Hit enter, another enter, and I'm going to go ahead and use bullet points. So I go to home, then I click on bullets under the paragraph group. So I'll need somebody with PHP skills, JavaScript, CSS, and then HTML. Next, I enter the job description for the office assistant. Perfect. Next, I go ahead and merge these two cells. I go over to layout, click on merge cells, and I enter apply now. I think I'll need another row, so I'll just go to insert below to get a new row. Then I enter email. So, this is all what I want to have on my job openings poster. Next thing I want to do is go ahead and format my work. So I'll start from the top. So I select this. Next, I go over to the alignment group and the layout. And I'm going to go ahead and use align center. And I'm going to increase the height of the row. So I go over to cell size group and I use the height. So I'll make it 1.5 centimeters. Next, I'm going to increase the size of my text. I go to home and I can use the increase font size like this and i'm going to go ahead and make it bold perfect next i select job openings i'll make it bold and i increase the size i'll make it bigger than the name of the company so i choose 48 next i select my preamble i'll increase the size to 18 and i'm going to change the font to times new roman Next, I go over to Layout and I'm going to increase the height of the row. I think 2 centimeters will be cool. And I'm going to go ahead and align it to center left like this. Perfect. Next, I'm going to go ahead and format my job titles together. So I highlight them up and I'm going to go ahead and choose Align Center. And I'll increase the height of the row to 1.5 centimeters. Next, I go to table design and I'm going to go ahead and 
choose a shading maybe this color next i'm going to increase the size of my text so i go to home and i increase it from here i think 20 is cool and i'm going to make it bold i'll also change the font to area black okay i don't need it in two lines so i decrease the size like this maybe 16. I actually want to see some sort of separation in between the job titles. So what I'm going to do is create a new row right here. So to do that, I make sure any of the columns is selected. Then I go over to layout and the table tools. Then I insert a new row from left so that I will have a new column in between the web developer and office assistant. But after inserting, you see that my table is not in good shape. Don't worry, we'll make it better. All what we need to do is highlight here, then we mesh cells. Now make sure I choose align center right here. I do the same thing here, mesh cells. Mesh cells, and I choose align center left. Then I go down here and do the same thing. Perfect. Next, I work on these columns. So I go ahead and hold this line. From here, and I open it this much. I'll do the same thing to this side from left. Perfect. The next thing I do is remove the shading here. So I just select it, then I go back to table design, click on shading, and I choose no color. So now I have a separation in between the two job openings. Awesome. Next, I highlight the job descriptions. That is the titles, and I'm going to go ahead and make it bold. I highlight the required skills as well. I make it bold, then I also change the case to uppercase, like this, and I do the same thing right here. Perfect. Going down, I highlight these two headings, then I go to layout, I align them center, and I'm going to go ahead and increase their heights. I'll increase the size of apply now by highlighting it, go over to home. First of all, I make it bold and I increase the size to 36. Next, I select the email address and I go ahead and make it bold. I increase the size to 14. I still have much space down here. I don't need all this space. So what I can do is I increase the height of this row and the layout, maybe 2.5 centimeters. I increase the size of this row as well to 2.5. I highlight these two cells here. Then I go ahead and increase their height, maybe to 9 centimeters. And I need a bit of spacing right here. So I just click here, hit enter once. Click in here, hit enter once. Going down, I'll increase the height of this row to 2.5 and I'll do the same thing in here. Awesome. Now everything else is cool. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and remove the lines. I don't actually need the lines, but before I do that, I want to apply some shading to this particular heading. So I go over to table design after selecting it, then I choose this same color. However, I'm going to decrease the shading here. So I select this and I go ahead and choose this. I do the same thing right here. I just click on the shading directly to choose my color. Now it's time to take off the lines. I don't actually need them. So I select the entire table by clicking on the cross icon right here. Then I go over to borders group. I click on borders and I'm going to go ahead and choose no border. Perfect. Maybe I can add more decorations. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a line on top right here. So to do that, I can select any of these two cells. So I just click in here. Then I go over to borders and I choose top border. The line looks thin. I can increase the size by going to line weight. Maybe I choose 3PT. After choosing the line weight, 
you see that my mouse pointer has turned into a brush with that i can just go ahead and click in here to get that size i can do the same thing right here by clicking going down i want to apply this same line style to this line right here with this i need to click and drag to the end perfect so to deactivate the brush i just go ahead and click on border painter and it's gone and now the design of my job opening poster is done So that's it on how to create job openings poster in Word. I hope this video was helpful. If you found value, kindly hit the like button, subscribe, and also enable the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you will be the first to know. Keep watching, and I'll see you in the next one.